Hold and thank you. Well, new tonight at 10, Knox County has already seen 148 suspected overdose deaths this year. The District Attorney General's office says that includes three this month. Last year, there were 292 suspected overdose deaths. This month, hundreds of people came together at the University of Tennessee to discuss treatment options and solutions. But as reporter Grace King shows us, the cost of seeking help is a barrier for many Tennesseans. Grace. Shannon, Molly Owens lost her mother to the opioid epidemic seven years ago and has since helped friends and family through the recovery process. That process, she says, can cost upwards of $700 a month. My mother actually committed suicide at the age of 48. Um, basically, her whole life had been nothing but addiction. Seven years ago, Molly Owens lost her mother. Since I was 15, I lived a life without a mother due to a disease that never got proper treatment. And she ended up coming back home and trying to just quit everything on her own. The stigma surrounding addiction and cost of treatment prevented her mother from getting help. Seeing my mom go through all of that now, it's gave me a purpose to want to help people never get in that situation because this isn't a disease that affects just the person. It affects every person they come in contact with. Owens is now helping loved ones through the recovery process. I'm surrounded by people that either are addicts, previous addicts, in recovery. And speaking out about how much it costs them. Right now we pay $671 a month. A report from the Pew Charitable Trust found medication assisted treatment is the most effective. Without this medicine, you're literally in withdrawals. You are sick, you are in aches and pains worse than the flu times 10, and there's nothing you can do. Still, research from the National Institute on Drug Abuse shows average treatment costs range from $500 to $1,200 a month. All the hard money you work for, no matter how you have to get it, it turns around and you have to use it just to survive. Owens hopes that by erasing the stigma, treatment will become more accessible and affordable to anyone in need. We're all human and we all mess up and we all have problems but you have a disease and you just need help. And if we start treating it that way, I feel like it'd be a lot easier on everybody. There are free treatment programs like the 12 step program available. Those studies show they are less effective. Shannon. Grace, thank you.